Hi, this is Justin from Tech 65 and today we are going to take a first look at the Symbian Anna. It's a new version of Symbian that's rolled out by uh, Nokia and it will be on the new E6 and X7 phones. So today we have uh, Joseph from Nokia who will go through with us all the new features of the Symbian Anna. So Joseph, what are some of the new features of Symbian Anna? Yep, so uh, for in this case, let me take out the X7 here and show you what are some of the changes that we've done. Okay, for example, if you have been using a Symbian 3 device for any of the earlier devices, N8, C7, E7, or C601, okay, you notice that for the home screen, the change wise, uh, you will actually follow the finger. This has been incorporated into, the, into Anna. Okay, and in the menu, as you look at the icons, now we have a new concept uh, for the icon set, okay, uh, the squirkle spoke, uh, concept. So we achieve, aim to achieve a more clean and less cluttered look by having uh, a consistent look across the look for the look and feel of uh, all all icons within uh, the device itself for preload for preloaded and built-in uh, applications. Next up. Okay, we go to the messaging. Now this has been uh, a feature that has been requested by many users uh, for quite some time now and we are hearing your feedback. So as you notice now, okay, we have a portrait quality incorporated directly into the text input for your messaging. So uh, not to worry for those users who are used to alphanumeric, you can still have it here as you can see alphanumeric. You can switch it back if it makes you feel more comfortable. Otherwise, you can always switch back to your QWERTY keypad, your QWERTY keyboard here. Of course, uh, if you find that the keys are too small, uh, landscape is still supported and you can change to this view if it uh, feels more comfortable for you. So, next up, another huge change we have here, okay, uh, and it's a big one, is the web. Now, you notice as I take up this X7, let me put it down, and the C6, okay, let's go to the web here right okay this is the same web page let me put it side by side okay however if you notice the UI right there's some slight differences okay this little arrow here okay brings this up however this okay brings up a whole new set of icons uh, and what it does is that uh, it brings what it achieves aims to achieve is that to let you have uh, fewer uh, click-throughs or touch-throughs to uh, get to where you need. So for example here you have to scroll through um, a whole list whereas from here you can achieve everything uh, through here. So for example uh, let's say I want to go through your bookmarks you just tap this and go here and you, you can see it straight away. Another big difference here is that you have the visible address bar and it's always there okay uh, it's, it's kind of un unobtrusive so if in the event that you don't want to see it as long as you scroll up, okay, that bar disappears. Any point in time you want to uh, pull it down again, just bring it down and you can input what you want to enter straight up from here. Okay, so for example, let's try a website. Okay, it, you can actually do a search. Uh, it actually does a search at the same time. So in the, in the event that you do not uh, want to key in the URL but search for something, Say we try HTML dot okay okay as a com and you can also search for it so assuming that I go to com okay it will just uh, load it up straight away of course you have a back button and this is also there permanently as well uh, along with the options button so all this here it's uh, 101 okay so all this here is uh, fixed and your refresh and your stop key is uh, integrated into one little icon at the top here yeah so how about the uh, the, the windowing of the uh, browser itself okay now one huge uh, change for the browser as well is that for the uh, regular Symbian 3 okay there was no support for additional windows you only could switch existing windows okay however for this one here there's a change here. Now you have your windows as usual like the previous one uh, for Symbian 3. However, now you have the option here to add a, a new window. So we can switch to that new one, key in the address again of what, whichever place you want to go to. Okay, let's say we try for example uh, Nokia. Oops. You can search. You know, just search, search it out straight. 
So you can, uh, first time use, you can choose to either use Bing, Bing or Google and just use that straight away and after that uh, if let's say you want to switch back to the previous window just slide across and there you are amazing so uh, are there any other um, features from that, that Symbian Anna would bring to the uh, various other smartphones yeah uh, so uh, Symbian Anna it's uh, gonna be rolled out uh, across the board to all Symbian 3 devices okay some of the improvements here uh, will uh, will include uh, some changes to OV maps uh, in other applications. OV maps. Uh, there's also hardware uh, hardware accelerated encryption for business users. Uh, but not to worry for existing uh, users uh, for N8, C7, uh, and C601 and E7 as well. Now this Symbian Anna will be rolled out in Q3, okay, across the board to existing uh, Symbian 3 users. So they can enjoy the uh, new Symbian Anna interface directly via firmware over the air. Will be pushed down to these users, and you can see directly on the device. Just download it, upgrade the device uh, on the spot, and you have your new interface here. All right, uh, and the Symbian Anna would come with the E6 and X7, which are new phones from Nokia. So thank you very much, Joseph, for introducing to us what the new features of Symbian Anna. And that's it for Symbian Anna. Thank you very much. Thank you.